Now, in this lecture, we will understand how to compute the B plus tree order. In the B plus tree, the structure of the leaf node and the internal nodes are different. In the leaf node, we are storing all the key values. All the data nodes are there in the leaf node. Obviously, if there is a data node, I need to search the record also. I will have to refer to the record with the data node. So, with every leaf node, there is a key value and the record address pair. Fine. Now we link up every leaf node with each other. It means we need to have the address of the next node. Fine. We need to have the address of the next node also. So for address of the left, left node, it means the address of a block. One node is going to be stored in the in the hardest node. Another node is also going to be stored in the hardest node. So if we are actually referring to the address of the next node, it means that is a block address. Fine. So key value and record address pair along with that the address of the next node. But there will be no child node address because in the leaf node there will be no child of the leaf node. There will be no, no child of the leaf node. So M minus 1 key nodes, M minus 1 record addresses and only one block address. Fine. So M minus 1 key nodes plus M minus 1 record addresses plus one block node is less than or equal to 512. Fine. If you are putting in the same value, uh, let's say every key of two bytes, record addresses of 10 bytes, block addresses of 14 bytes, then we put up these values here, m minus 1 into 2 m minus 1 into 10 bytes plus 14 bytes is less than or equal to 512. So this is 12 m is less than or equal to 510. So minus 2 minus 10 plus 14 so plus 2. Plus 2 will go on the other side it will become minus 2. So it is 512. So m is less than or equal to 512 divided by 12. Fine. Okay. About the internal nodes. In the internal nodes, we do not store the record address pair because internal nodes are just the indexes. Internal nodes are not the data nodes. So we do not need to store the record addresses there. So in the internal node, the structure of the internal node will be, it will be keeping the key values Now it will be keeping the address of the children. Okay. So child node address 1, child node address 2, child node address 3, child node address m minus 1 and child node address m. If it is having m minus 1 keys, it will have m children. So the addresses of the children. And nothing else. Obviously it will be storing the addresses of the children and, and the key values only. It will, be, it will not be storing the record addresses and the link, uh, the internal nodes are linked up to each other. They are not linked up. So we do not know, need to store the address of the next uh, sorry, next node. <coughs> so the internal nodes has a structure in which M minus 1 key values are there. And then M child node addresses, it means block addresses. Every child node is going to get adjust, adjusted in the hardest nodes and this should be less than or equal to 512. If you take with the same example <coughs> wherein key values of 2 bytes and then block addresses of 14 bytes this makes out less than or equal to 512. So this is 16m less than or equal to 514 m is less than or equal to 514 by 16. Right? So you just compute these values, you will be able to find m. Now you can see that in the b tree, sorry, in the b plus tree, the order of the leaf node is different and order of internal nodes is different. Although we can take the minimum of these two and we can build the b tree, 
but uh, if you want to take the uh, design the b plus tree then the order of leaf node and order of internal nodes can be made different thank you